What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and if you haven't been keeping up recently with some of the videos that I've been uploading you may have missed that that car behind me, a 2015 BMW M3 has replaced the Audi A1, the Nuke A1 is no more and the Nuke version 2.0 is right behind me and I am absolutely in love with this car. If you followed my journey of looking for a new daily, one of the main points that I really wanted to hone my search in on was discovering a new manufacturer, a car that I could explore with you guys and learn together, basically. This video, like I've done with the Lamborghini and the AMG GTS, is my version of getting up close and personal with that car, an in-depth tour done by me. So it's not gonna be technical, I'm gonna be discovering a lot of stuff as I go along. I've got my cameras with me, so that's essentially the main thing and I remembered to charge the camera batteries up. There are quite a lot of features on the outside and definitely a ton of features on the inside. So uh, let's get this video underway. Let's see what we can discover. And most of all, let's try and learn something. I am a huge fan of the BMW M3 aesthetics. When it first came out, I think I was drawn to the sleeker profile of the BMW M4, which is the two-door version of this car. And the more I'm experiencing it, seeing it from dif different angles, different lights, this car, firstly, is a lot more aggressive than the BMW M4. Secondly, it's a lot more practical because it's the four-door version, so people can jump in and out, as you would have seen from the uh, previous video, where Zach just jumped in six foot four, and it was incredibly easy for him to sit in the back of the uh, BMW M3. So you don't get that in the M4, which is why I think that car is superior to the M4. First things first, if we are now going to leave the wonderful and muscular exterior of the BMW M3 and start looking at the interior and have a look at what all of the different buttons and infotainment system and what that does, let's unlock the car and open it up completely. So this is the BMW key. We've got unlock. Lock is the BMW badge. You can see it have got electric folding wing mirrors as well. And then that is the boot lid and it is automatic. So let's open it up, check this out. I'll do this, I'll hold it down. Automatic and check out the size of the boot. It is absolutely massive. There is the key. That is how big it is. I mean, I could easily fit in there. I reckon two people could fit in the BMW boot. Let's open up all of the doors. We are greeted with white leather, which is very impractical. We've got climate control by the looks of it, or at least air conditioning for the rear passengers. The seats have been protected by about six or seven layers by F1 wax, meaning that the interior will always stay white. Oh, why's the music started? That's spooky. The ignition's not even on. What is going on? There is a ghost. This car is haunted. I think down here, this is how you open the boot. Oh, that was loud. Yes, there we go. There is the three litre, 430 PS BMW engine. And we've got carbon struts as standard, which I found out at Dub Customs. But, <laughs> Here we go, this is the BMW M3, completely open. I mean, this looks more of a transformer than my AMG when I opened all of that. We've got four doors open, the boot, and the engine. Now, even though that the opening mechanism of the BMW M3 boot is automatic, I haven't actually tried to close it with the key. I have no idea whether it's going to work, but if it's got the open automatic mechanism, it should have the, um, the closing mechanism. No, that is the rear reversing camera. So I'm actually gonna clean it whilst I'm here. Make sure that I can see what I'm doing. I'm putting fingerprints all over my car, but there we go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, with the driver's door open and welcoming me inside to the incredibly white leathered interior of the BMW M3, I'm going to step inside. There is going to be a GoPro running seamlessly as if it was already running and has been running throughout the entire video. 
and then we're going to get into the nitty gritty of looking at all of the buttons, what they do, what their purpose is, but also trying to discover the specification on this car and trying to work out what things go where and how things work and all of that sort of stuff. So this is definitely the biggest learning curve for me right about now. I've not pressed half of the buttons in there. I've literally just fiddled with the temperature. That's it. So stepping inside the M3, you're greeted with uh, the very small kick plates. But one thing that I've noticed, because this is the four door, the doors are incredibly small, literally as big as my hand. And that is because, well, I'm used to the R8, I'm used to the Lamborghini, the AMG, they've all got massive doors that spread like pretty much the entire way down the car. Um, but this, in parking spaces, make it very easy to get in and out of the car. And here we go. This is the interior of the BMW M3. And uh, I'm gonna slide in, please, if you're watching on the GoPro. Um, excuse my attire because I'm wearing a cream hoodie and pink trackies. So inside, we have got white seats, which I've mentioned about 15 million times. We've got a beautifully designed center console that you will find pretty much in every single BMW. And that was one thing that Sam had an issue with the BMW M4, but that was because it wasn't specced how this car was specced. I have gone for the carbon inlays all the way around here, which just add to how special the car feels, but also how well things are put together. Coming down from the carbon fiber inlays, we've also got gloss piano as a sort of face with all of the buttons inside. And again, I don't think the M4 that Sam drove when he sort of hated this car, it had that. Let's start with down here. This is the drive select gear lever. So I've got reverse, neutral, I've got drive and sport. So I put it into drive and then I put it into sport again. And that basically kicks these paddles alive and I can go through all of the gears like that. Down here, this is where you control all of the systems up here on the screen. So I've got media, radio, menu, telephone, navigation, back option. Uh, this thing sort of like spins around and also clicks left and right. Moving on down here, we've got all sorts of buttons. We've got the parking sensors. You can turn them on and off. If you're sat in traffic and they're on, then cars just backing up and backing, your parking sensors could go absolutely mental. So it's good to have that off when you're stuck in traffic. And then here we have got all of the different settings that customize the setup of this vehicle so we've got the steering we can have that in comfort sport or sport plus suspension we've got it in comfort sport and sport plus and then we've also got the engine setup we can have that in efficient we can have that in sport we can have that in sport plus okay here we go we are starting on the radio and if I click the radio button you can see that we've got FM AM DAB which I'm currently on save station which I haven't worked out yet and sound now in sound we can work on all of the different equalizers that we've got I can have the logic 7 surround sound and uh, yeah we can fade between front and rear or left and right and then obviously bass all the way up and treble all the way up to get the cleanest sound uh, that works for my ears. We've obviously got the media, which uh, is connected to my phone at the moment. Connected drive, which looks like that is the internet. Concierge service. Let's go, I wanna see this concierge service. Start service. I'm having a phone call. Welcome to BMW Connective Drive. Our next available agent will be with you shortly. Thank you for your patience. Oh my, oh my god! Good morning, you've heard of the BMW Concierge Service. You're speaking with Umar. Can I start by taking your name, please? Yeah, my name's Paul Wallace. Hi there, Paul. Um, can I just confirm your license, please? Possible. Yes, it's RJ65. Yep. M for mother, P for papa, E for E. How can I help you today? Uh, basically, I picked the car up two weeks ago and I've just found the um, concierge service on here and I, I kind of just wanted to give you a call and see what see what happens. <laughs> I'll just give you a quick brief summary. So basically, like you've called us, it's a 24-hour uh, service. Um, we're here to provide you with points of interest. Um, a quick example would be if you wanted to ask me where the closest McDonald's was to you, I can have a quick look in our system and send that either straight over to your sat-nav sat -nav, depending on whether you've got remote services for your BMW, uh, we're also able to unlock and lock your car remotely wow. if you've ever forgotten if you've ever forgotten, you know, your keys or if you've managed to lock yourself out of your car uh, we can also do that for you Wow. Um, I hope I haven't confused you, does that make sense? Yeah, that? that makes total sense and is it like literally free, like I can just call you up whenever? 
Yeah, so um, like you said, you've just bought your BMW. It depends. Your BMW is it has a subscription length. Some BMWs come with a complimentary one where it can last a year. Some have it for three years and ninety days from the day of production. It all depends on each individual mod right. model. No awesome. Worries. Thank you very much. Have a, have a great weekend. Cheers. And no you. Worries. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> that is the coolest thing ever. Oh, I just had a chat with someone from BMW Concierge and they're probably bugged my car now, so they're probably laughing. But anyway, moving on from the Concierge services, we've got messages, mobile care. Oh my God, like what does that do? BMW Online. I think I've got the internet. Vehicle information. We've got trip computer, consumption, 19.2 MPG, speed, 13.9, efficient dynamics, what's this? Oh my, this is the best thing ever. I've got my own game of consumption history. No idea what happened on those low ones. Efficient dynamics info. But then, look, check this out. I can have a split screen and then have like my location, I can have sat nav, I can do loads of cool stuff, but anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove the split s split screen. Sports display. Oh, power and torque. What if I rev it? <laughs> I'm such a child. I am blown away with what this car has to offer. I'm going to turn the engine back off and uh, then you have to, so you turn it off and then it says gearbox position in neutral. I'm going to quickly film that actually so that you can see. And then, so once you've turned the start stop engine, then you hold it, and then that turns everything off. So basically, it's a two step um, sort of setup to turn the engine off. But it's off now. We're off. We're off. There is one button in this car that I have no idea what it does. That button is below me, and it is right there, just in front of the gear select. I don't know what it does. So please put in the comment box below. That is the button. What does it do? I've pressed it a couple of times, both with the engine off and on, and I have no idea what it does. So please, um, could you help me in terms of understanding this button? It's always the case when I do these idiot tours because there's one thing that just stumps me. With that being said, uh, I don't think there's anything else to really talk about. We've got windscreen wipers, not windscreen, well, we have got windscreen wipers. We've also got sort of sun visors, door handles. These light up, that's pretty cool. M lights up, but that's at night and I can't really show you that during the day. But please like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you want to see next on the BMW M3. Let me know what modifications you also want to see with this car. I've got a few things cooking up here, but I want your guys' suggestions as well. And uh, yes, I'm very, very much looking forward to ownership of this BMW. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. I am so happy with this car. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Right, now I need to go. Cheers, guys.